okay, going to go and refute the self-righteousness and heretical conditional security of Gabe the street preacher. A lot of these street preachers believe in conditional security, they deny eternal security because they're self-righteous. They want to earn their own salvation through their own holiness and through their pride, essentially. They had the same mentality Satan did, and as they had chapter 14, verse 12 to 15, where Satan said, you know, I will, you know, I will ascend to the, you know, the throne of God, paraphrasing, of course. But Satan wanted to earn, basically, the throne of God by his own self-righteousness, and these street preachers have the exact same mentality. When someone gets saved, they become a Christian, they have eternal security. Once someone is saved by God, not by their own righteousness, uh, they are saved and a child of God. Self-righteous papists like Gabe want to steal glory away from God and put it on themselves. Instead of Jesus Christ's finished work on the cross being sufficient to pay for all your sins, Gabe wants to earn his own salvation by continuing in holiness and self-righteousness. Gabe believes the exact same heresy as the Satanic Roman Catholic Church, the harlot of Rome, Mystery of Babylon, the Roman Catholic Church. Gabe says you have the, quote, dying a state of holiness to go to heaven, just as the Catholic Church says you have the dying a state of grace without any moral sins on your account in order to go to heaven. Just like the papists, Gabe is turning salvation from a one-time event that happens a mo in a moment in time, see 1 Corinthians 1.18, and turning it into a process of holy living and self-righteousness, thus making the cross of Christ of none effect. So they always do. They want to earn their own salvation through works. The Bible teaches that once a Christian is saved, they are sealed by God. 2 Corinthians 1, 21, 22. Sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1, 13. And sealed until the day of redemption. Ephesians 4, 30. The Bible teaches that, sa that a saved Christian, uh, once they're saved, they are kept by the power of God. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. They will never perish. John chapter 10, verse 28 and 29. They will not come into condemnation. John 5, 24. Confirmed unto the end, 1 Corinthians 1, 7 to 8, preserved unto God's heavenly kingdom, 2 Timothy 4, 18, and Jesus Christ says he will not lose them, he will, he will not lose those who are saved, he says he will lose nothing, John 6, 39, chapter 6, verse 39, and nothing can separate us from the love of God, Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39. So we're saved, we're sealed, and we're kept by the power of God, not by our own self-righteousness. Titus chapter 3, verse 5 says, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. But you're going to see from this papist, Gabe the street preacher, he's self-righteous. He does not believe that the blood of Christ is sufficient to pay for his sins. He believes you have to continue in, in your own self-righteousness and holiness to basically earn your own salvation, just like the Catholics do. So let's get right into refuting this self-righteous little heretic. Take a look in the mirror. Take a look at your reflection, spiritually speaking, and say, who am I before God? Am I a holy person? If you're holy, this message is not for you. Continue in your holiness. See, notice how it says, see, look in the mirror and see, am I a holy person? Continue in your holiness. See, it's all about you. It's not about Jesus Christ. It's about what, what do I have to do to earn my own salvation? See, he's working his way to heaven. He's saying, what do, am I holy enough? You know, am I holy? So, it's not Jesus Christ paid for all my sins on the cross, it's, am I holy enough to be saved? That's what he's teaching. It's Roman Catholicism, it's work salvation, it's self-righteousness. Let's continue. But if you continue in willful sin, you will nullify the blood of Jesus Christ. So, if God will not take Holy Spirit... So, Gabe says, if you continue in, quote, willful sin, you will basically nullify the blood of Jesus Christ. And he puts Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4 to 6, and Hebrews 10, 26, 27. Um, who is the book of Hebrews written to? Hebrews. It's written to Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. Yes, it was written by Paul, but does not one mention the book of Hebrews of anybody being, quote, in Christ. All the Pauline epistles, except for Hebrews, uh, are mentioned people being in Christ. Not one mention of the book of Hebrews of anyone being in Christ. Because when you're in Christ, you're part of the body of Christ. The book of Hebrews is clearly not written to people who are in Christ. It's written to the Jews. That's why it's called the book of Hebrews, and it's for people in the time of Jacob's trouble. In the time of Jacob's trouble, you can lose your salvation if you take the mark of the beast. But it's not for us today. But this is what happens. A lot of them are non-dispensational, and they'll just go all over the place and just lump it all together to teach their Catholic heresies. So, let's continue. From you when you sin, then once you are born again, if you accept Jesus Christ, no, 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 no. That gift, you, you can no longer be sent to hell. Okay, first John says, first John says it's a sin unto death. There's a certain people that you cannot pray for because they've hardened their hearts. They become a seared conscience. But what does that have to do? Because you, you will lose the Holy Spirit. Um, you can't lose the Holy Spirit. You're sealed with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1.13. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3-5 to says you're kept by the power of God. 
You know, John chapter, was it 6, verse 39, says Jesus Christ, he will not lose us. John 10, verse 28 says he will, we will never perish once Jesus Christ saves us. John 5, 24 says we will not come into condemnation. See, again, he's preaching work salvation. So it's basically you have to continue holiness or else you lose the Holy Spirit. It's work salvation. Let's continue. You shall be saved. No, okay, but you'll well, lose the Holy saying? Spirit. What did Saul lose? He lost the Holy Spirit and God sent a devil upon him. Okay? Oh, let me tell you this. David said, Lord, hold thy servant back from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me, and I shall be innocent and not guilty of the great transgression. So typical of these self-righteous Catholics, they always have to run back to the Old Testament, basically under the law, when it was written to Jews under the law. So apparently they think we're Jews under the law. The gospel was not fully revealed until the Apostle Paul. See Romans chapter 6, verse 25 to 26. Sorry, Romans 16, sorry, not chapter 6. Romans 16, 25 to 26. 1 Corinthians 2, 7. Colossians 1, chapter 1, verse 24 to 27. And Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1 to 7. The gospel was not fully revealed until Paul. So under the Old Testament, they were not under grace. They were under the law. Basically, they were not under grace as we know it today. They had grace back then, but it was not as we know it today. They had to keep the law. There were certain things, you know, like Ezekiel 18 says, the soul that sinneth it shall die. So they were not under, it, this was before the blood of Jesus Christ. It was before the crucifixion. So running back to the Old Testament to try to prove that you can lose your salvation is, you know, just shows the heresy that non-dispensationalists get themselves into. Because they're running back to basically get under the law. But back when they were under the law of Moses. We're not under the law anymore. But apparently these guys, I guess, think we're Jews under the law. Ridiculous. Let's continue. So there is a boundary line that if you continue in sin, if you cross that line, you're going to enter into the great transgression where you nullify the blood of Jesus Christ, you trample on his blood, and if you die, you go straight to hell. It's kind of funny. Who is really nullifying the blood of Jesus Christ? You have this guy who's saying that basically, basically, basically what he's saying essentially is that it's not sufficient enough to pay for your sins. You have to basically pay for your own sins through your holiness. That's basically what he teaches. So who is really nullified in the blood of Jesus Christ? He's making it of none effect. He's what Paul said, fallen from grace. He's trying to go back under the law, and basically Christ has become of no effect unto him. So who is really nullified in the blood of Jesus Christ? Because Paul condemned that in Galatians 5.4, the Galatians were trying to go back under the law, and Paul was saying, you know, you're fallen from grace. Christ is of no effect unto you. Paraphrasing, of course. But it's really these self-righteous three papists who are nullified in the blood of Jesus Christ, and making it of none effect through their own self-righteousness. And through their thought that they have to work their way to heaven or earn the blood of Jesus Christ through their own self-righteousness. So, don't be deceived by these works salvation heretics. Again, the Bible does say that you're sealed with the Holy Spirit, Ephesians 1.13, sealed until the day of redemption, Ephesians 4.30, sealed by God, for our 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22, you are kept by the power of God, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 5, you will never perish, John chapter 10, this is if you're saved, obviously, John chapter 10, verse 28 and 29, uh, once you're saved, you will not come into condemnation, John 5.24, you're confirmed until the end, 1 Corinthians 1, 7 to 8, you're preserved in God's heavenly kingdom. 2 Timothy 4, 18, and Jesus Christ says he will not lose you. John 6, 39, and nothing can separate those of us who are saved from the love of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39. So, these work salvation papists want to steal glory from Jesus Christ and nullify the blood of Jesus Christ and put it on their own self-righteousness. See, it's you have, to, you have to continue holiness. You have to do this. You have to do that. It's Roman Catholicism. It's work salvation. So don't be deceived by these self-righteous heretics like Gabe, the street preacher. Um, they're wicked, and they're, they're doing a lot of damage to the body of Christ going out and just doing lots of wicked things. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.